Hey guys, welcome back to part two of our quarter life crisis series. So the first part we actually talked through what a quarter life crisis is and being able to recognize when you're actually in one. And today we'll be talking about seven tips on how to overcome a quarter life crisis. And something that I wanna encourage you with as well with these is being able to have grace in the process. I think a lot of times when we're going through a hard, difficult season, we can be the hardest on ourselves in those moments. And so being able to have grace on those hard days and then being able to choose differently after that so that you can move forward in a positive direction. So let's go ahead and dive right on in. So the first one is being real and being honest with where you're at. And so once you're able to recognize that you're actually in a season like that, it really is helpful to be able to decide if you're gonna stay there, if you're not gonna stay there. And when you're able to decide that you don't want to stay there, then you can actually start doing stuff to help you get out of that. And also being open in a safe space with people who care about you and can encourage you and support you in that is so important. I think it can be easy to isolate ourselves in a hard season. And when we're open about that, it really can allow people to come alongside us in that. Number two, stop comparing. So being able to stop comparing to previous seasons that you had, to seasons that you thought you would be in, to other people and where they're at in their life. Comparison, honestly, is such a thief of joy in any form. It really takes away contentment and any kind of joy. And so being able to stop comparing in that and just kind of learning how to accept where you're at in a sense of being real and honest with where you're at so that you can actually like move forward from there, it's really important. Number three is to give up control, to hold things loosely. It's so important. I think sometimes when we get so tied up in our goals and our aspirations, we can sometimes get shackled to them. And it's really important to be flexible in that process and that there's so many things that are out of our control. We have to own our responsibility, but when it comes to like different outcomes and being flexible in the process, it's really important and it really can shape where we get to in the future. Number four is have gratitude. It's so big and I think a lot of times we tend to push that to the side, especially in a difficult season, but it really can change a mindset and perspectives. And especially when we're going through more of a negative season, we can focus a lot on those negative things rather than what we've been given and all the good that is around us. And so it's really being able to seek out those little things on the daily and being able to decide that you're gonna see the good in it. It shapes a mindset over time. I have done this to get out of some really negative seasons and it really was helpful. It was hard in the beginning, but it was really helpful to help me get me out of that. And um, if you're wanting to know more about that, I actually journaled every day as far as like what I was grateful for and that was really helpful. It made me actually list out things that I was grateful for, the tiny things, the big things, everything. And it was cool to be able to see the progress and the shifts over time with things that I was grateful for. Number five, try new things and have fun with it. Being able to try a new hobby, go on lots of adventures, meet new people, even like rekindling like old friendships is really good. And especially being intentional with your community that you have around you. Don't isolate yourself by any means, especially when you're in a difficult season. Again, allowing people to come alongside you and support you in that is so big. Number six, remind yourself who you are and who you were created to be. Write it down, all of the strengths, even the weaknesses, what you feel called in, 
all of the things. If you're not too sure about like what those things, don't be afraid to take personality tests. The Enneagram, StrengthsFinder, Myers-Briggs are all helpful tools that can help you understand more of who you are, how you respond to things. Don't use it as an exact formula, but use it as a guide. It's really helpful. As well as being able to ask friends and family that you're really close with, who they think you are and what you're strong in and maybe some things that you could work on. It's really helpful. You could identify what success means to you currently. And also something that I would encourage you is to write a vision statement for your life. It's really helpful to kind of lay the foundation of how you want to be intentional about with your life and what you want to do with it. And some action steps that you could take even further, seek community, seek counselors, coaches, mentors. They're all helpful things in the process. And then lastly, I just wanna encourage you in a hard season, you're doing a good job and you have unique gifts that stand out and your story is being written uniquely for you. And it's so beautiful and it's very powerful. And so really just being able to step into that and own it is so good. And then also you're not alone in this process. So many people, including myself, have been through a quarter life crisis, some earlier than others, some later than others, some exactly at their quarter life. And so just knowing that you're not alone in that process is so big. All right, guys. So I hope that those tips were helpful. Let me know, comment below any tips that you have found helpful for you, and then give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Until next time, see you next Friday.